let's understand this beautiful problem and maybe you can pause the video and give it a try we we'll start with the number 2019 and this is a problem from RMO part 2 maybe Maharashtra region I think and um, in this uh, in this number 2019 uh, we have two prime factors really 3 times 673 so you can check this so check this uh, by the way uh, link in the description uh, has some tutorial problems uh, you can try them they are related to this uh, this problem and submit those solutions by email to us uh, so that we can look into your skills okay so the, in this way you do not only watch a solution you also do some more problems out of it okay so we have this number 2019 which is three times 673 and what do we want well we want to find the GCD of n and 2019 minus n for n equals to 1 to up to 2019 so basically call this one dn so if i if this one is dn then what is d1 well d1 is gcd of 1 and 2019 minus 1 so this is gcd of 1 and 2018 Similarly, you can define D2, which is GCD of 2 and 2019 minus 2, which is GCD of 2 and 2017, and so forth. So the last one would be D2019. So D2019 is GCD of 2019, comma, 2019 minus 2019. That's GCD of 2019 and 0. So a brief comment on this last object, this one. Uh, what is the GCD or the greatest common divisor of 2019 and 0? In fact, what is the GCD of 2090 of, of any number k and 0? So k is any integer. Well, it's k, right? Because k definitely divides k that's that's right and k divides 0 because any number divides 0 so k is the largest number that divides both k and 0 so GCD of 2019 and 0 is just 2019 so the last one uh, some of the students had a little confusion about this so the last one is simply 2019 because GCD of 2019 and 0 is simply 2019 okay. so that's simple there is a uh, so here is again a problem uh, and this is in the tutorial check in the link in the check check the link in the description uh, and this is related to GCDs so um, what is the problem the problem is the following that if you have GCD of A and B you can do some manipulations with this there are some manipulations are possible so in this particular case what we can say is that GCD of A, plus A and B is equal to GCD of A and A plus B can you prove this can you prove this well, uh, look in the link in the description. Uh, it will take you to the tutorial section and there you will find this problem and maybe some clues and then you can submit the solution to us so that we can see if you have written it correctly. Okay. Anyway, so uh, this particular result is, uh, this can be proven very easily from fundamental principles. So we are interested in GCD of n, 2019 minus n. This is dn, remember. 
So this, so we can add these two. Remember, we can add A and B so that to get A plus B. So this is this is the major step. So GCD of this is equal to GCD of n comma 2019 minus n. Maybe I can use a different color now plus n. So this is my A. This is my B. So I'm just keeping A as it is and to B I'm adding A. So basically adding the first one to the second one and that will give us the same GCD. You can check this uh, using a rigorous proof and uh, even I can I can let me give you a little clue how it will go. So if you have GCD of A and B suppose D is a divisor D is a common divisor D is a let me just maybe just delete this D is a common divisor so it not it's not necessarily the greatest common divisor it's any common divisor any common divisor of A and B suppose that's true okay so now um, we know that D divides A and D divides B so A is equals to D times some quotient let's call it quotient 1 and B is equals to D times some quotient let's call it quotient 2 so let's add A and B if we add A and B maybe you can change the color add A and B so this is D times Q1 plus D times Q2 so you can take D common so this is Q1 plus Q2 so what you see here is D is also a factor of A plus B this is the key idea this is the key idea so D divides A plus B so any any common divisor of A and B also divides A plus B well then the GCD of AB which is the greatest common divisor of A and B will also divide A plus B but that doesn't mean that that does not automatically imply that GCD of A plus B and A is also that so that you have to work a little bit harder uh, anyway, so uh, I will let you do that. Now coming back to this problem, we have dn is equal to GCD of n comma 2019 minus n, which is nothing but GCD of n comma 2019 using that little um, trick that we applied. Okay, now um, we notice that 2019, and this is the, something we started off with, is 3 times 673 excellent so now we can actually do what we want to do see if n if n is a multiple of 3 then GCD of n and 2019 is exactly 3 right because n contains whatever many 3's n may contain 2019 will contain only one 3 so the GCD is 3 and if n is a multiple of 673 then GCD of n and 2019 will be just 673 and if these if n is neither of these two things then the GCD is 1 so otherwise GCD is 1 okay so now the question is how many numbers are there how many numbers are there between 1 and 2019 included how many numbers are there which are multiples of 3 well let me exclude 2019 because 2019 we will do separately so up to 2018 so up to 2018 included okay so how many multiples of 3 are there well you can just divide 2019 by 3 and that's 673 so there are 
672 of them. Remember, we are excluding 2019. So there are 672 multiples of 3. 672 multiples of 3 from 1 to 2018. We are excluding 2019. Okay. What about multiples of 673? Well, there are only two of them. The third one is 2019 itself and we are excluding that. So there are two of them. Okay. So apart from this 672, so these 672 numbers, this 672 ends. So for these 672 ends, GCD of n and 2019 is 3. So there are 672 of them. Okay, so that's you can multiply 673. So since we are adding all of them, we can just multiply 673 times 2. This is 2016. Okay, for the two cases where GCD is 673 we get 673 plus 673 remember we are adding all the GCDs so that's 1346 all the remaining cases all the remaining cases all remaining cases gives GCD as 1 so that's uh, so you have to add all of them so how many remaining cases are there so 2018 minus the 672 cases where you get 3 get 3 minus the two cases where you get 673 as the gcd so how many cases are left that's 13 44. You can do the calculation. So we have 1344 plus 2016 plus 1346. So 2016 plus 2016 plus one remaining case where GCD of 2019 comma 0 that is 2019 so that's the last one 2019 so now you can add these things so let's add them 6725 so that's the so 6725 is the final answer now go to go back to the tutorial uh, in the link in the, the link is in the description and try the problems which are related to this beautiful problem that we just solved and uh, uh, only then you can learn something more about this these ideas